And Lachelle Yates with the Better Business Bureau is here with us today taking all of your consumer related questions. Um, in fact, this one just came in and it says, how do I report something to the BBB? That is very easy. You just go to bbb.org slash scam tracker. That's where we take reports about scams and you just walk through the easy to fill out form. You could also give us a call at the office if you wanted to report a scam that way. And our phone number is 336-852-4240. We love to talk to people. So if you want to report a scam that way also, we'll take it over the phone. Somebody wanted to know, is there a physical BBB location that I can visit? Yes, there is. We do have an office. The address is 1617 NC Highway 66 South in Kernersville. So it's just off the 66 exit off of um, uh, Highway 6 or off of um, 421. Yeah, thank yes. you. Uh -huh. 40. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to think. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the office hours are typically nine to three. So come see us. We And we love to talk to people who want to come in and see us too. Mm -hmm. And you can find your local BBB office, no matter where you're watching from, you can just go on uh, BBB.org and you can type in your zip code and you'll be able to do that. All right, let's talk about AI technology and how scammers are kind of taking advantage of it. What's a common scheme that you're seeing with AI? So one of the schemes is they're starting to use AI to create videos of celebrities pitching weight loss products, beauty products, and some other ones. And here's one example that we're already starting to see. It is an ad that features Oprah Winfrey hawking a weight loss product, and it's a supplement. And the ad said that if you buy one bottle for $49, you'll get a second bottle for free except at least one person reported to BBB Scam Tracker that they were charged $198 for the supplements and no, the company would not give a refund. Well, the problem turned out to be that it was a phony endorsement. And of course, another problem was that it was um, $198 instead of the $49. So folks, I will tell you, um, you know, fake video is only going to be a bigger and bigger problem as we go forward. So you really need to start educating yourselves on what some of the signs are that can clue you in that a video is fake and also when pictures are fake. And there's starting to be more and more articles out there that you can read. And also on the topic of supplements and beauty products in general, um, the majority of the time when you see these, the video, these are fake endorsements. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, um, I guess the princess of Wales now, um, she is she is not uh, hawking beauty products and neither are the majority of the uh, the celebrities that you see out there. Those most of those endorsements are fake as well. Yeah. OK, um, I've had, got a couple more questions about um, filing a complaint with the BBB. They want to know, can I file both a complaint and a review about the same issue? And then I think that I want to just follow it up with what kinds of evidence proof do they need when they come and do that? So you cannot file both a complaint or a review. If you have a complaint, if you've had an actual marketplace interaction, so you've actually done business with the business and you still have an ongoing issue, if there's a problem we can actually solve, you've paid for something and you didn't receive the product, you've, um, you're, you have an ongoing house project um, and it hasn't been completed, that those are great complaints because we can actually resolve an issue for you. So file that as a complaint. If you've had a marketplace interaction and it's over, so you had a new roof put on, but you're not, and you've paid for the job, but you're not quite happy with how it really turned out, that would be a review. So, and in terms of evidence, oh gosh, contracts, pictures, text messages, anything that is impartial that can go to back up your story is great evidence. And when you file a complaint, there is a way that you can attach all of that information. And if you get to a point where you're having trouble attaching information, but you know that you have stuff to, to back up your side of the story, just give us a call and either we can have you email it to us directly or we can help you attach it to your complaint. And does the BBB need that kind of thing to actually like go to the other business? No. 
But I will say that it does help because the business can always come back and say, well, no, that's not what happened. Those statements aren't true. Um, but if you've got a contract that says it was going to this this job was going to involve A, B and C mm -hmm. and it was going to cost X. Um, and if the company came back and said, well, no, it was going to involve, um, you know, D, E, and F, and it was going to cost Y. Well, you've got something in writing that proves your side of the story. It makes right. it much harder for the business to make their case. That's why always having paperwork is so important because it just verifies your side of the story. Yeah, don't think, oh, I'll just take someone's word for it. Definitely get some paperwork there.